What's going on guys? Pronogo bringing you another Mapcraft 2017 showcase. This one's Dead Zone Hope Loss, submitted by Kithraya over on the Jaybreener Discord, but Apocrypha is their username of choice on Battle.net. This map is on Battle.net. You can go ahead and play it yourself, as long as your computer is able to run the game on high settings with uh, acceptable performance. So we're just going to get right into it. We can see some cool screenshots here. I did attempt to play this map earlier, uh, actually yesterday, and I ran into some problems. I let Kithraya know, and presumably they've been fixed now. So hopefully we will be able to have a bit of a more smoother ride. Uh, but there's a lot of custom artwork. In fact, I would argue that based on what I can see, there's more new stuff on the screen at any given time than there is old stuff. Uh, and usually it's by a pretty big margin. Like, there's a lot of new things all over the place. New UI, new obviously new mechanics and such, new icons, new models, or at least presumably new models. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm not going to worry about this hockey profile issue. We even have a new cursor, though, which is pretty neat. And uh, you can see the loading screen loads us right into this moment. It almost looks like a brand new game. So I'm really excited to see where uh, Dead Zone winds up heading from here. It has its own voice acting, and I'll let that speak for itself. Uh, we are going to go on normal. I am not really super sure... Well, I'm sort of sure what to expect now that I've played it, and maybe I could do hard. So, you know what? Let's, let's live on the wild side. Let's do hard and see what happens. Um, so these leading talents are... I mean, obviously there's a lot of them. You can only pick five. <coughs> In the interest of saving some time, I'm just going to do the same character that I did last time, which was the experience, the strong stomach, the melee expert, the health regeneration, and the endurance regeneration. And we're just going to go with those. Um, but you can read all of these, all, you know, all you want. There's one for your dog. There's, you know, a bunch of different ones. So you'll have plenty of time to, uh, you know, go ahead and read them when you play this map yourself. Leave Kithrae a review. And uh, let's get started. Let's see what, what this map has in store for us. And I'll be quiet in this opening uh, cutscene here. Just crack open a cold, hard soda. Nightmare Doors Creations. I had to do a little trailer voice because it wasn't quite ready for me to shut up yet. Okay, now I can shut up. Once this was a blooming, vivid colony. Or at least, I remember it that way. Everything changed nine years ago. I have no idea how it all started. The people who knew anything are long dead. Or... They're not humans anymore. But Genesis is a story for another time. In brief, something crawled out of the dark and changed most of the population and fauna into bloodthirsty, deadly creatures. The rest turned later due to contact with the infested. Those who survived, including me, are immune to the virus. Small villages were the first to fall. A short time later, the plague reached bigger cities. There was nowhere to escape. Everything drowned in the chaos and the desperation of saving our own lives in just a matter of days. Not only people have changed. The environment started to decay as well. The planet is dying. Everything has lost its color long ago. The temperature rises. The air suffocates. Flora disappears. 
the soil is hollow and consumed by eternal poisonous fogs. Staying out for too long without protection is a death sentence. Most of the survivors live in organized groups. Others, like me, chose the loner's path. The survivors still hope for rescue, but I lost hope long ago. Help will never come. They know that, but apparently haven't accepted it. They keep fighting their own lost battle. As time passed, humanity became a greater danger to itself than the infested we fought. Tired of purposeless conflicts, I found it safer to be alone. I've not met a living person for a week. My only companion is my tireless direwolf, Slash. Like me, he's immune to infection. How did I find him? <laughs> it's a long story. I'm currently searching for a place where I can hide and stay longer. Sleep safely. This is what keeps me going. Last night I noticed a sparkle of light in the thick fog. I'm going to search for its source. Hopefully the weather holds. All right. That uh, was pretty cool. I like the whole sort of still images with a few filters on them as the the main like way to to show a story beforehand. And the images didn't look like they were shoddily drawn either. So respect to that. I don't know if Kithrea, uh designed the this <coughs> mostly alone or or if they had help, but at the very least we. Uh, we know that they're the one who submitted it. And we allowed teams in Mapcraft anyways, so it's all about the same. So we can use WASD to move, as we saw. We can use Shift. And one thing I found out later on is you can actually mouse over slash here and right... Or is it left click? Right click? I don't... Maybe we can't do it right now. Um, but we can... We can later on, like, change his behaviors and stuff. We can also do this if we want to zoom in past the fog and sort of mouse our way around to see if we can figure out any other details. Searching to retrieve objects and materials. You search the objects you've encountered, so then you just approach it and you hold space. Uh, one of the th perks you can get actually reduces the amount of time it takes to search. There, It does take a, lo uh, a bit of time, I would say. And I don't think we can increase the speed of the game. Like, I, don't, I think it's on fastest or whatever already. Yeah, it is. Just wanted to make sure. We can also, uh, we can do a couple of different things. Let's check our inventory. Oh yeah, we got to equip this wrench. So we, I think we just left click on mouse one. Yeah, that's right. Okay, it's coming back to me now. It's been a whole day. And then we can uh, lockpick this trunk. So the way lockpicking works is it gives you a little bit to memorize the pattern. It's up, left, down, left, right, left, left, down. So up, left, down, left, right, left, left, down. Okay, so we did it. It wasn't too bad. I don't think there's a way to fail that one. Okay, let's put our crowbar on. It's much better than our... <coughs> our other thing. I think I may have screwed up with the the zooming. So we can do uh, block by holding right click. I don't know if we hit him yet or... Did we hit him? They seem to be running after our dog instead. <laughs> don't die, Slash. Whatever you do. Hey, get away from my dog. That's my dog. Aw, oh, what a piece of shit this guy is. Only I can beat my dog. This is not allowed. All right, so I don't know why they prioritized our dog there. That doesn't always happen. That didn't happen the first time, at least. Oh yeah, we can examine some things. He's been dead for a long time. I really hope that's actually the case. Uh, 
Yeah, better hope he stays dead. <laughs> Obviously. There's um, a lot of interesting ideas that Kithrea was talking about. Just an empty can, figures. Uh, in the... J. Barino Discord, actually, about this map, where they were talking about maybe there's a stealth system that they're going to implement into the next area. This is only a demo. You can't get too far into the world just yet. But uh, at some point, you can go into a bunker, like a, a hatch of some sort. Oh, we can do lockpicking again. So this is up, right, up, left, up, down, up, left. Up, right, up, left, up, down, up, left. There's a lot of ups. Done. Okay, cool. We remembered. So, uh, contamination reducer. This is important for, like, if you get bitten by a zombie, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, hopefully we don't find out. That's all I'm going to say. Now, um, I think eventually they will tell you what to do. Like, how to check your task. You can hold tab to do it if you're not familiar. This is a, this area is supposed to be like the, the tutorial, obviously. So you can check the light source, and then M opens the map, but it doesn't look like we can do that just yet. I think we have to wait until a little bit later. Here's the edge of the map. It definitely looks very creepy, though. Ah, huh, there's a cow. I don't think we can inspect or... Oh, wait, can we? It hasn't been here long. Maybe it still contains something edible. Alright. It said eligible instead of edible, but we get the idea. Thanks... Thanks to Sharon's voice actor. The, the right idea was brought across. I think Sharon's voice acting is pretty decent. Oh, okay, cool. We have, uh... Oh, so it's still infested with whatever, you know. Obviously it died because of the, in, the infection, I guess, is what we're supposed to believe there. So it's not great meat, but maybe we can, like, purify it. Or we could maybe use that... If we can inject our meat with that growth hormone <laughs> that we picked up. Well, I was gonna go check that other cow, but... There is something about oh, I can't. I'm not allowed to move right now. I think this is like a cutscene. Holy shit. Minefield. Well. We have been blown up. leg hurts. Doesn't look good. Well, now we're limping. Let's get some meat from this cow. So you can do everything you can do normally while you're limping, except, uh... You obviously have to move a little slower. So I think it's an interesting way to do it. That way you're not, like, completely worthless. So we can use the flashlight. Obviously, we have, a, we have a battery level. I don't know. I think the battery just runs out. Noise. When you move or do stuff, you make noise. Sounds especially loud ones. Running, shooting can attract infected nearby. So something to keep in mind. This game, I think, uses infected and infested. I'm saying this game. This, this map. <laughs> it's hard to remember that it's a StarCraft II map. Um, it uses infected and infested pretty, I think, interchangeably, which is not really, I'm not, it's not a criticism, I'm just saying, I think that's an observation I've had. So this is what I mean, so you can hold tab, or you can check your map, and, let's see, crashed AHG24, I heard that there's a broken warplane somewhere in the edge of the swamp, and then there's our task, so maybe we can go check out that warplane, I don't know, we have to figure out a way to not... Um, basically be fucked by our leg. We, we have to, like, unfuck our leg, I guess. And task, source of light. Okay, so that was the, the thing that we heard. That's the thing that Sharon said. We don't want to move too fast, because I don't know where the uh, undead are, where the infected are. <coughs> but we'll keep searching stuff as we move along. It's not too often that you get narrative-driven... 
or narrative elements like this where there's like a, a fair d amount of voice acting it does feel like it, it's its own game this game reminds me of um or this map haha <laughs> reminds me of Damn. oh we we're here rotting robot oh yeah and this is they're giving us a tip about slash's behavior so we can actually have him attack infested sure that way he'll fight us fight with us so now we're gonna s smash this a few times I think we can search it now, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe I have to keep smashing. Oh, here we go. So, yeah, the, there's, it's rare that you have situations like this where there are, uh, you know, there's voice acting, there's pauses, and, you know, for that, that sense, there's that sense of dread as you're searching stuff and you hope infested don't start walking around. And, uh, I've actually seen... This looks like something... Okay, hold on. We gotta. We have to go now. We gotta have him stay calm. We gotta hide ourselves in this container. It doesn't look like I can move now, so this must be a scripted event. But I remember seeing this actually in um, a demo that Kathrea had posted onto the Discord channel a while ago, which is as always linked down in the description, and you can go there and interact with Kathrea directly but yeah this is uh quiet i think she's talking to me hi infested hi i'm over here in the container come say hi i have some meat for you it's probably like you guys so as you can see there's no way we're fighting all of these guys so we just have to sort of wait here oh they even have like are those dogs? Those look like uh, they're swimming. And the water's not that deep, so I th thought they were fish at first, but those must be, like, infected dogs. That's crazy. All right. Well, definitely glad we're not getting attacked by... Oh, see, there's one. That's a really cool-looking something or other, whatever it is. So yeah, with the shaders and the fog effects and everything else, you can tell that this would probably require uh, a decently high-end computer to run at perfect FPS and all that. Especially since it's in StarCraft II's engine, which is not the most well-optimized for this sort of thing. But it is pretty difficult to remember that you're even in StarCraft II. Like, I don't even think most of these assets are... The, uh, the grass is... Some of the rocks are. Okay, so now we can... Oh, there's one left over. I heard him doing stuff anyways. Alright, kill him. Kill him, dog. Alright, we got him. Oh. An old bunker hatch. Some supplies might still be there. Some of the uh, dialogue doesn't match with the... Uh, with the debris, I mean, with the debris, with the with the voice acting, the or the the written dialogue doesn't match with the spoken dialogue. Okay, so we can. This is teaching you how to use explosive barrels in this game. Um, as they explain in the top left, you don't want to be in a position where you're causing a lot of noise, especially with the infected being so like so many infected being uh, so nearby. So instead, we're gonna just Cause as, as little noise as possible. I guess we have to keep hitting it. Okay, now we're good to roll. I don't know where my dog went, but... Okay, so that will probably make some noise. And it's a ringing noise. Oh! What was that? Something really big is coming. Uh Oh, destroy the debris and open the bunker hatch before the timer ends. Okay, so we destroyed one barrel and now the side blackout is happening. I don't know what the side blackout is. I guess we'll have we'll find out eventually, but we we need to keep going here. We need to It's a little bit of intensity. Oops. I control S instead of what am I doing? Lift object control. 
Am I not able to lift the object? There we go. I had to get in the right spot. Okay, now we gotta shift. Oh, we can't we can't shift while we're doing that. Okay. So let's keep uh Keep smashing our way through this thing, keep blowing it up. I assume I placed it down in the right spot. Maybe it needs to be a little closer. We'll try it this way. I just I think it just needs more barrels before it's ready to go. Let's start going to find another one. Wherever another one might be. Yeah, that still hasn't destroyed it. Vision and sound anomaly. Oh, that's that must be because we were neck too close to the explosion when it happened, I think. Now, I wonder if the explosives... Uh, that, that must not be an, an explosive barrel, I guess. I wonder if the explosives... Uh, perk that you can get increases your ability to do that. Like, uh, decreases the amount of... Whoa! Okay, hold on. <laughs> We're, we have gone in the wrong direction, I think. Um, well, maybe the side blackout will make them run away or something. I'm not really sure. I honestly don't know where the other barrels would be. I guess we can just start breaking it with our crowbar and hope that we've done enough. Maybe our dog will come back. <laughs> Alright. I think we can do it. We're gonna be summoning infected to us, I'm sure. But we don't really have a lot of options here. I think maybe my barrels did need to be closer. Like, where I'm standing is probably where they needed to be. No, I guess the side blackout's, like, preventing the infected from even considering coming over here. Like, they're... Maybe they're also looking for shelter or something? I'm, I'm not sure. Am I hitting the right stuff? Do I need to be... I must be, right? Maybe I have to hit it from a different angle. Oh! There we go. Oh! This is where we have to... Okay, hold on. I gotta kill these guys and then hack, like, uh, lockpick or something. Hey, hit him! What are you doing? Oh, uh, no. I don't know if we'll have time. Oh, uh, well, we barely missed that guy. I think I misclicked on on something. So we've got to quit and rewind here. Um, so let's... I don't know if I can hack in time from there. I think maybe we should quit and rewind to, like... Before... Okay, hold on. Pause the game. Something real okay. Um, alright, yeah, sure, I guess we can, we can fast, we can, we can take and ran now. <coughs> I don't know where my dog went, maybe he's still hiding. <laughs> he might still be hiding in the container, I don't know. Yeah, so the ones that would glow orange are the ones that would, oh, we had to take this from this angle, right? Hey, okay, I think I got it now. Maybe? There we go, I figured it out. I had to spin around it. So sometimes they don't uh, highlight. So maybe that one to the north that I found is actually an explosive barrel. It's hard to say. Okay, so let's put it down right here. And run away, far away. Hobble away. So it's still not cleared. Again, I'm gonna make my way over to this one and hope that this actually is an explosive barrel. But maybe it's just... Oh, no, it is! Okay, so we just... We had to come at it from a different angle. It's a little tricky to get yourself in the right position. I don't know if that's a 4.0 issue that um, I just didn't notice in the first time or, or what, but... Well, no, I don't really... I don't think I picked up very many barrels in the first one, so... Like, the fir my first run through this mission. Okay. So hopefully that's enough. Explosive barrels. It doesn't look like it is. But, let's try. It's more than it was before, so we should be able to break through it faster and then use the... Okay. Okay. 
All right, so it's right, bottom, bottom, right, top, bottom, left, right. Okay, let's go. Right, bottom, bottom, right, top. Ah, oh, shit, I fucked it up. Right, bottom, left, right, right, left, bottom, left. Okay, right, bottom, left, right, right, left, bottom, left, right, bottom, left, right, right, left, bottom, left. Okay, cool, we got in. Open hatch, get me out of here. Okay. To be continued. So I think there's probably, there's definitely more to this map, right? Like, I, I didn't think that there... I would be immediately going into that hatch thing. So you can actually go explore for yourself. The uh, Battle.net link directly is in the Jay Barino Discord, which again is, of course, at the description of all of these videos. But you can yourself go and check out this map just by searching uh, Dead Zone Hope Lost, or just Dead Zone, probably. Uh, we'll do it right now, just while I'm talking about it. I don't know how the new arcade works, honestly, so... Dead Zone. Yeah, so it pops up right here. It's uh, a Biapocrypha, currently version 1.3 is the t at the time of recording the video. I strongly encourage you to check this out. I'm actually going to record, well, probably not record, but off camera, at some point later on in this week, I'm going to play another round of this and just see what else I can go through in terms of, like, uh, you know, what, what else I can find. Like, I want to investigate that ship in the top left. I think there's like a radio tower somewhere. There's like all sorts of stuff that you can take a look around and just give Apocrypha feedback if you find issues like that barrel thing that I found. Definitely let them know and they can actually go through and, and fix this stuff. So looking forward to seeing more stuff out of this, even though it's obviously not like a typical StarCraft II mission. Uh, it was still really, really cool. It was, it, it was really neat to see. So looking forward to seeing more out of that individual and out of... Uh, what was it? Nightmare Doors? Yeah, so Night Nightmare Doors. That's their studio, presumably. So, uh, yeah. Looking forward to seeing some more stuff from them. And if you're looking forward to seeing some more stuff from me, you can just stay subscribed to my channel. And we'll be back with more MagCraft showcases in a day. So, not much, not long to wait.